Murder. Guess what? Oh, oh, you almost got it. I'll keep reaching for it. Just got a bunch of snake hook grips in. Now I have dark blue, light blue, purple, red, orange, green, yellow, pink, and of course, black. So that way you'll be able to customize the snake hook to whatever color you would like. Welcome back to Talking Serpents. So as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm going to be making some snake hooks. I've been uh, waiting on my assortment of grips to come in the mail and they did. They're all colorful. Now I'm going to turn this pile of stainless steel into a bunch of snake hooks. So it's about to get uh, just a little bit messy in here. Also, uh, I do live in Texas and it is July, uh, middle of July, and right now I think it's either 97 or 100 degrees out and I'm about to do some cutting and welding and uh, yeah, it should, be, uh, it should be pretty warm throughout this. All right, it's turned from a wood shop to a metal fabrication shop, just like that. I definitely feel in my element. So, uh, right now, I'm gonna be making a bunch of snake hooks, obviously, but uh, I am making two custom snake hooks. One person reached out to me, so I'm going to make them a custom snake hook. I'll show you at the end. And then another snake hook, I'll be making for myself. This one will be shorter, slightly shorter. Uh, the, the end of the hook will be a little bit smaller for a smaller baby snake. And uh, I won't say what I'm getting, but I will say that it will be mandatory for me to be using a snake hook with this item. So I'll just leave it as that, and uh, hopefully that will happen soon enough. No, this this is metal fabrication, Stephanie, not coal mining. <laughs> Rode my motorcycle to the store, and I had to buy a new tool. I already had a blowtorch, but this one is a lot more potent. And then this I made, it is a mini forge. The torch goes in here. On the inside, everything gets really red hot. Nice and cherry red. It's gonna bend like hot butter. Ooh. That's just wrong. That's okay. You wanna see how it is bending metal? You're like, oh no, what are you gonna do with that? And it's like hot butter. I'm just bend it again. And 
looks like that. Pretty cool, huh? All done. And I'm glad, because when the uh, torch is in there, this thing heats up to like a couple thousand degrees. Everything gets red hot and it blows heat out that way and this way. And let me tell you, this freaking garage gets hot. Top it off in Texas, it is uh, 98 today and uh, no wind is blowing into my garage right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad to be done with that part. The forging was definitely uh, very hot, surprisingly. Who would have known, you know? to make all these snake hooks look real nice. So I'm gonna go from this, it's a dull stainless steel look, to this. This is a brushed stainless steel. It's all the small details that make the big difference, you know? Time to make them all pretty in three, two, one. And just like that, they look amazing. Got all these snake hook tips done. Over here I got the L style. Everything's all brushed, looking good. And then over here, we got the common the hook shape. And over here, this is actually a hook for me. Compare it, it's a little bit smaller. That's actually gonna be going into this small little hook right here for a snake that I'm not saying what it is just yet, but I will need it, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna take a slight detour. I got no place to put my TIG torch. And if you don't know anything about welding, this is a TIG welder, and this is a TIG torch, and I'm going to have a little spot to put my torch, that way every time I grab it, I can go welding, and I don't have to drape it over something, because eventually these aren't gonna be here anymore, so time to build something cool. All right, that should work. Round at the edges, bent it in half. Just put some hot glue on right there, it should be good. Just like that, bam, I got a spot for my torch. And I can be working and then just grab it and bam, works good. Tips are on. That's a lot of hooks. Go from smallest to the biggest. So if you are interested in a snake hook, they will be on my website, talkingserpents.com, and I will have the link in the description to these snake hooks as well. So here's my mini snake hook. I guess I'll compare it to this one. It's quite a bit smaller. I'm pretty stoked on it. And then this hook right here is 42 inches long. One of my uh, YouTube subscribers reached out to me and wanted this hook. So I went and made him a custom hook. Hope he loves it. I'm not gonna put any grips on just yet. Every customer orders a different color grip. So I'm just gonna leave it off until the time being and then uh, I'll put them on then. Time for me to finally have my own color grip. I'm gonna put it on my small snake hook that I just made. There we go. And now my hook is all finished. I got my red grip on there, the small tip, and it's a little bit shorter than the others. That's what she said. <laughs> 
so I'm happy. I have made myself happy. Thank you, Kyle. All right, that's the end of the video. If you like the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.